Stand up like a soldier, raise my hands up, I surrender, then I sing a song and then I do like this. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. That's why I stand up like a soldier, raise my hands up and surrender, then I sing a song and then I do like this. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. That's why I stand up like a soldier, raise my hands up, I surrender, and then I sing a song and then I do like this. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. That's why I stand up like a soldier, raise my hands up, I surrender, then I sing a song and then I do like this. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. That's why I stand up like a soldier, raise my hands up, I surrender, and then I sing a song and then I finish all. Trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus, but to trust and obey. Trust and obey, for there is no other way to be happy in Jesus, but to trust and obey. Praise God. Good morning. Hello, boys and girls. Thank you for joining us in, today, in, in, in our today's lesson. And for those who don't know me, my name is Teacher Mary, and I love the Lord as my personal Savior. In today's lesson, I'm going to 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 be to take you through a lesson. The, the, today's lesson, and uh, we are going to start with the word of prayer. And I know that you're going to be blessed. When I want to pray, when I want to pray, I put my hands together, I close my eyes, and then I start to pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, we thank you this day for giving us yet another day. Thank you for your protection throughout the night. As we start to our today's lesson, we pray that your Holy Spirit is going to speak to us. We pray this believing and trusting in Jesus' name. Amen. And all the boys and girls say, Amen. I'm going to start with a question. I'm going to ask you a question, and I hope you're going to answer. You're going to tell your mommy or daddy, or you're going to tell your sibling, whoever you're sitting next to. And before that, please, can you get your Bible? And a pen, uh, and uh, your pencil or a pen, and you're going to write whatever you're going to read, you're going to learn today. What is trust? I hope you are, you have gotten my question. Uh, trust. I got a definition from the book of the of the from the Oxford Dictionary. Trust is the belief that somebody is good. Trust is a belief that somebody is good, that somebody is honest, that somebody is sincere. What do you mean by when you say that somebody is good, boys and girls? When somebody, when, when you say somebody is good, it's, this means that you like them, you are not afraid of them, and you are able to get close to them. And uh, what about the word honest? The word honest means to trust in someone someone that can be trusted that's the meaning of the word trust what about the word sincere sincere means that somebody means what they say sincere means that somebody means what they say praise god i hope you're going to be i hope you're excited like the way i'm excited today to share the word of god and Today's lesson, I want, to, I want to, ask, to ask you another question. Whom do you trust? Whom do you trust? Some people may trust in their parents, their friends, their mommy and daddy. But in today's lesson, we're going to find someone who is closer to us 
than our mommy, who is closer to us than our daddy, who is closer to us than even our friends. And our Bible reading today is coming from the book of Proverbs chapter 3, Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 5. You can use your Good News Bible because I know most of you use it at school or you can use your, uh, the NIV or any other Bible that is available. And you are going to read together from the book of Proverbs chapter 3 verse 5. Pro Pro Proverbs chapter 3 verse 5. It, the Bible says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not in your own understanding. In everything acknowledge him and he will direct your path. Praise God. I hope you have gotten that again. I want to read uh, I would like us to read, uh, read it together. The Bible says in the book of Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 5, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not in your own understanding. And in all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your path. For example, right now, whatever the, the situation we are in, the corona pandemic is scary. Some of us are afraid, some of us are, are worried whether we'll still go back to school and some of them have started trusting in their own ways. The, the, some ways our friends are saying that when you go back to school, when you go back to class five, when you go back to class six, seven and eight, you are going to repeat. Do you believe that you are going to repeat? Do you believe that you are going to repeat? I hope your answer is no, because that is not the trust we get, the kind of trust we get from God. Our trust from God says that when you go back to school, we are going to start, uh, we should have trust that soon and very soon we'll be going back to school, and soon and very soon this corona epidemic is going to end, and even for those people who are, si who are sick, they are going to be healed. Praise God, boys and girls. Something else, in the book, I, as I, re I was reading in the book of uh, the Good News Bible is telling us, not uh, the same verse, verse 3 to 5, not to rely on our own thinking. Some, some people, like, uh, I'm sure those who are in class 8 and form 4 and maybe seven, some of them in seven, class 7, they are, they are thinking that they may never have the time they will never do their exams. Some are saying, you're not going to do the exams. The exams are going to be postponed to next year, to 2021. Do you believe that? No. For me, I don't believe that is going to happen. For me, because I trust in the Lord, I know that we are going back to school, we are going back to church, we are going back to Sunday school, because I know that our teachers in Sunday school have missed us a lot. Our teachers back in, at school have missed us a lot and I know that soon and very soon things are going to change, situation is going to change and God is, is, uh, God is watching us, everything that is going on, that God has control because we trust in him. For example, I have that, this trust that when I take this chair, and I sit on it, I have the trust that I'm not going to fall because I know the chair is not broken. Suppose if the chair was broken, could I have the trust that the chair could support me? No. But Jesus, our God's trust is bigger than that of the chair. Praise God. And uh, as we continue trusting in God, I hope that when you are continue trusting in God at home, we are doing something. We know, I know that you are continuing to revise our books, the homeworks that you are given to us. I know you are about to complete. Or oh, there's somebody who has not even started. I hope you are not one of those people. I hope that you are doing your revision and with the help of your parents and your, your other siblings, elder ones, or the, even the, the other, the, your relatives, if maybe you had gone to a country, I know that you are still doing your homework. Praise God. When you are trusting God that schools are going to open, 
I know that you are doing something. You're not just sitting there. When you wake up in the morning, be refresh yourself. Wake up, read the word of pray, read the word of God. Freshen up, go and brush your teeth. Don't just stay there because you are like you feel like you are you have lost hope. Do something. Do even some exercise in the morning. Read the word of God and also do your revision and also help your parents in the house, like mopping the house, doing washing the dishes. And I know that soon when things get back to normal, we are going to see each other back in church. And today, our memory verse. Our memory verse uh, is coming from the book of Psalms chapter 112 and verse 7. And the, the Bible says, he does not fear the bad news. He, he does not fear receiving bad news because his faith is strong. The person who has trust in the Lord does not, ha does not fear receiving any bad news because his, his trust, his faith is strong and his, his trust is in the Lord. Praise God. Is your faith, do you have trust in the Lord? If you have trust in the Lord, you are not going to, to be afraid of the bad news you receive. People saying about coronavirus, you are sitting, some people are just sitting there, watching the news every day, watching how many people have been, uh, watching the updates of our, the CS for help, waiting and asking, atilewa kumiongezeka watu wangapi? No. If you, are, you have faith in the Lord, you are not going to just sit there. Because and because uh, even if you receive those bad news that every day watu wa meongezeka, lewa meongezeka 15, kesha wa naongezeka 20, the number is increasing and increasing day by day. You're not just going to, to receive the bad news. And after even when you receive the bad news, what do you do? Do you pray? Do you take time to pray for those people who are sick, who have the coronavirus? Do you have trust in God that even if they are sick, they are going to get to it. Praise God. Do you have trust, trust that God is going to, fin, to take control of this pandemic and that even those who are sick are going to get healed? Do you have trust in the Lord? I hope your answer is yes. And uh, as we come to the conclusion of our lesson, I would like, us to, I, I would like you to tell your, your daddy, to tell your mommy about this lesson, whatever you have learned today that we should trust in the Lord and not to lean on our own thinking. Not to, not to lean on, not to rely on our own thinking. Not to think negatively about life. To trust God in our present. To trust God in our tomorrow. To trust God even in our future. Even after we do, we should have trust that we are going to do our exams, in those who are in class 8, and even those who are in form 4. We should have trust in God that even when we do our class 8 examinations, we are going to, to pass, we are going to do well, we are going to pass with flying colors, and we are going to be successful boys and girls because our trust is in the Lord. Praise God. Uh, as we come to the end of our, of our lesson, uh, we are going to, I would like us to pray so that some of you who, are, who might be feeling worried about life, about our studies, about our, even doing our exams, we are going to pray that God may strengthen our, our faith, God might, is going to encourage us, and as we do this, we know that you are going to be blessed. Let us bow, bow our heads for our, for our of prayer. Uh, everlasting Lord, we thank you for the lesson that you have, you have learned today. You have taught us by your word that trust, trusting in you is the only thing we need to do, not to lean uh, on, our, on our own understanding, dear Lord. We pray that you may help us whenever you are feeling weak, dear Lord. Give us the strength, give us the courage to go on with life and to have, to have our trust in you that even uh, as we, we continue revising at home, we know that God, you are going. We are going to do our exams uh, when we open the school. When we go back to school, and we know that, dear Lord, you are going to pass even with flying colors. And we also pray, dear Lord, even for those who are sick. Dear Lord, we pray 
that you you may remember them. You may touch them wherever they are. Those who have or who have coronavirus, you know that God, you are going to touch them in a mighty way, and you are going to heal them. Dear Lord, we pray even for the families who are affected by this pandemic that God, you may hold them, you may take care of them, and take care of their comfort them and com give them the strength they require this time. Dear Lord, we pray for ev everyone who has or, or every child and every boy and girl who has watched this we pray for their parents dear lord that god you may remember them dear lord may continue providing for them at these difficult times because we know some people have lost their jobs dear lord we pray that god you may continue holding them and providing for them because you are you are our provider and our trust is in you we pray this believing and trusting in jesus name amen and all the boys and girls say amen I hope you have been blessed and I hope to see you next time. Have a blessed day and take care and God bless you.